Kakashi is an overrated character. Let me first start off by saying that Kakashi is one of the best characters in Naruto and definitely deserves to be ranked highly in many people's lists, but he is for sure not perfectly written. There are some attributes to his character that I feel most people gloss over simply because of him being Kakashi. I'm someone who looks at all things objectively to find the good and bad, and there are definitely some bad sprinkled within the character of Kakashi Hatake. The first thing I don't see many people talk about is in relation to how he is biased towards his students. Kinda like how a parent shouldn't have a favorite child, the same should be said between teachers and students. The issue in Kakashi's case is that he is for sure favored Sasuke more in comparison to Naruto and Sakura. Now I get that Sasuke is more akin to Kakashi than the others, so special attention is required for something like that. I'm not gonna downplay his training with Sasuke just for that. But that said, when comparing the training given to Naruto and Shippuden, Sasuke's training seemed to be more involved. During the Rasen Shuriken training, Kakashi was pretty much on the sidelines while Naruto was doing all the work himself, while with Kakashi's training with Sasuke was a bit more hands-on during the tuning exams. Now I see why it was more involving when training with Sasuke, given that he has a lightning nature and a Sharingan as well, but it doesn't stop the fact that Kakashi wasn't improving upon Naruto until after Sasuke left the village and almost no one-on-one -on -one training at all until then. And I don't even have to bring up Kakashi's training with Sakura because it was non-existent. Aside from the training in the Land of Waves arc, where each member had training with Kakashi to learn chakra control, Kakashi didn't teach her squat, with her ending up training with the fifth Okage during the time skip. So at the very least, as a sensei, he is for sure overrated. The next thing that makes Kakashi an overrated character is that he is considered the copy ninja, master of a thousand jutsu, but really only uses five throughout the series. We've seen the potential of Kakashi living up to the copy ninja name in the first arc, where he copied the water dragon jutsu from Zabuza, but that was pretty much the extent of it, at least in Kakashi's case. Now I will say that it has to do more with the concept of the copying with the Sharingan to be obsolete as the show progresses, since further versions of Sharingan and their abilities like the Magekyo take further precedence. But the fact that Kakashi being labeled the copy ninja sounds like it should hold more weight, it doesn't mean that much in the grand scheme of things. Maybe it was a good idea for the copying ability to be shoved to the wayside, since it may have gotten away from liking Kakashi for himself and the jutsu he occurred himself, like the lightning blade for example, but doesn't stop the fact that it was presented and should have been enacted on. And I'm also going to present the idea of you liking the video and hitting the subscribe button for more content. Liking the video helps out a lot and subscribing gives me more motivation to keep producing videos for you all. And if you are appreciative of these videos, consider donating by hitting the thank button below the video, which will prompt you to donate how much you see fit. It's not required, but any and all amounts would be very appreciated. Last thing I want to mention in pertaining to how overrated Kakashi is, is in relation to his buffs in the war arc. The first thing I'm about to mention can be somewhat excluded, but to a certain extent, that being his overuse of Kamui. Kamui is supposed to be a draining juice for Kakashi, as he was literally hospitalized for it after a few uses in the Kage Kage rescue arc, but him spamming it during his fight against Obito is kind of ridiculous. By how much he was using it, he should have went blind. Now you could negate this claim by saying Kakashi trained against the fatigue and is somehow immune to the overall effects of it, but it wasn't shown to us, so that's just an assumption one would make to justify his overuse. If you can point to me the chapter in the manga where it stated that Kakashi was able to nullify the effects of Kamui, I greatly appreciate it. That said, this is not the worst buff he has during the war arc. Him having dual manga kill Sharingan was out of nowhere as is, but him just being able to use the perfect Susano is actually ridiculous. Realistically, speaking, Kakashi should be able to only use the armored Susanoo at most, but Perfect just came out of nowhere only to appease the fact that Kakashi needed a form to deal with Kagi at the time. Then for his Sharingan powers to just disappear was interesting to say the least, considering how he just randomly got it from a dead Obito. But when you're trying to tie up the story the best way possible after introducing one of the worst villains, I get why this had to be done. Overall, Kakashi stands true to being one of the best characters in Naruto, but definitely has some flaws most people look over. He's for sure ranked fairly when it comes to his characterization throughout the show, but some things you just can't look over. All that said, I want to know from y'all. What do you think of Kakashi as a whole? Do you think he's an overrated character, or do you think he's an overall balanced individual? I'd love to get y'all's thoughts, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see me give more unjustified hate to another Naruto character, click the card you see here which will take you to my video featuring King of Chaos on why I think Minato is actually an overrated character while he's on the defensive side of his character. I'm the Curly Hero Kage, and I hope y'all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.